I really want to share this recipe with you. I had no idea tiramisus were so easy to make. I've always thought of it like a super complicated Italian recipe, and now I have one in my hands that looks absolutely delicious. My name is Liz, and I'm here to help you enjoy better coffee at home, even as a dessert. Let's go. To make this recipe, you're gonna need these ingredients. For the cream, I'm using heavy whipping cream, this mascarpone, I don't know if that's how you say it in English, but mascarpone. And I love this one, it had the, the picture of the tiramisu and I wasn't sure quite yet. And I asked someone at the store and she said yes. So she was Italian, I'm gonna believe her. You're gonna mix that with vanilla extract. I'm using the, the dark one and sugar. You can use the granulated sugar or whatever sugar you have at home. I do like the texture that I get with this one though. Lady fingers. Go all Italian with that as well, but you know, anything traditional will do. And coffee. I'm using a mocha pot today. You can use espresso, obviously. This was a very safe choice, made it all so easy. And I don't know, completely recommended. And just for the end, a little cocoa powder, just dark chocolate. And I also like uh, to put something on my plate just for garnishing. Chocolate syrup, completely optional. It's gonna be easy, it's gonna be amazing, and it's gonna be super tasty. Making this will take you around five minutes. We'll start with the mascarpone. So in a medium or large size bowl, start by pouring three quarters of a cup of the whipping cream. I'm using one quarter of a cup three times to be more accurate. Before we start mixing, I'll prep the sugar and vanilla. For the sugar, we'll need a sixth of a cup or about 30 grams. If you want a bit more or a bit less, be my guest. And for the vanilla extract, half a teaspoon will be enough. Again, you're free to add a full teaspoon or a bit more if you like a stronger flavor. Use an electric mixer for this part. Doing it by hand is possible, but can take you way longer. While mixing, add the vanilla extract, and once it blends, start adding the sugar little by little while it mixes together with the whipping cream. You'll see how it slowly starts getting the desired consistency. After about a minute, you should have a creamy result like this one. Now, Let's add the star of the show, the mascarpone cheese. I'm adding half the pack as I used the other half in a pasta recipe earlier. Mix it for another minute or until it completely blends with the cream. Usually, it wouldn't be tiramisu without mascarpone. If you absolutely must, you can substitute it with cream cheese, but that requires a variation in the recipe, which I'll leave in the description. Once the mascarpone cream is ready, it's time to assemble the tiramisu. But first, I'll clean up a little bit. And while I do it, please hit like if you're getting value from this video and subscribe to my channel because I'll be making more coffee-based recipes to help you enjoy better coffee at home. Grab a dessert plate to put everything together. I'll start by decorating the plate. Don't judge, I'm not the best at it. Add your first layer of lady fingers next. I'll be making one large serving using two layers of three lady fingers each. But you could also make two medium-sized servings or three small servings using two lady fingers for each. Now, I'll soak the lady fingers with mocha pot coffee. I recommend you set up your mocha pot right before making the cream at medium heat, so by the time you're assembling, it's hot and ready. If you want to learn how to make the perfect coffee for this, watch my mocha pot video next. I'll leave the link in the description too. Complete the first layer with a generous serving of mascarpone cream. You don't have to make this perfectly squared as other tiramisu recipes, just spread it until it covers all of the lady fingers. Then add your second layer of lady fingers next. I'm doing it in the opposite direction, so it kind of looks like a Jenga tower. Make sure to soak the second layer with coffee pretty well. And don't worry about the mess, it's part of the fun. Finish up by adding the rest of the cream and spreading it well. I like the asymmetry and the imperfection of this tiramisu recipe. It looks and feels homemade, and I'm sure it's gonna taste as delicious as any restaurant recipe. Now, top your tiramisu with cocoa powder, or as I like, a blend of cocoa, cinnamon, nutmeg, and a pinch of salt. This will give it its signature look, and it's now ready for you to dig in. Wow. <laughs> That's so good. I have to show this to all my family, to all my friends. Everyone has to try this. <laughs> This is so literally the best thing I've ever made. And I want to continue to do this kind of stuff with you. And if you are enjoying this content, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, go and watch my other videos. There are so many different ways to enjoy coffee at home. In the meantime, I'm gonna keep eating and I hope you enjoy this recipe and you make it at home. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.